but I want to point out player movement, the way you're sitting, how fast you box, if you're sitting behind a rock and someone sees you. All of those things are like little itty bitty details of like a pro looking at you or any really good player looking at you. Be like, this guy is not building a box fast enough. He's crouching behind a rock. His movement is kind of wonky. He's flailing everywhere. He's running all over. All those little details give you an advantage in a fight. All right, so chapter five, season three, solo cash cup, two hour VOD. Do you have a, do you have a game you want me to watch in particular or a timestamp? First one and last one. Let's go. So game one, this is cash up opens game one, right? He's dropping in. We're going to skip to this VOD because this is, is, it's not hard for me to understand these games, right? I'm here to help you guys not, not watch the entire gameplay. All right. So he drops for the hill, gets a good drop, gets the barrels. That's all good. He scouts around him. So he's like trying to see if he can get the spot on Contessa, which is good. Looks like someone was there because he didn't go for it. This is a good spot to lend because you can, you can kind of have options. I've talked about this before in solos, but it's a great idea to have options, right? This is a strategy that, that has been done for so long. It's a little bit wonky now because everyone's got really good drops and understands like there's most, most every POI is taken in, in like an opens, but it's not like a hundred percent chance, right? So if you drop a spot like this, you have, you can check so many areas. You can check this if it's uncon, this could be uncon, this could be uncon, a split over here could be uncontested. You could probably glide all the way down here and get this if it's uncontested. All right. A lot of times people will just drop really high and they'll fly around and look for teams flying to spots and they'll just pick a spot that's not. I do that sometimes. I think I did that last FNCS as well. Like just when you really need a game, you just can't not die off spawn or you think you're getting griefed off spawn. That happens a lot at the pro level where like people are coming out to try to kill you to, to not let you qual. Just drop really high. All right. So same thing Titan saw like I talked about 30 minutes ago is have your have your game plan, right? So I drop in. What if bra what if Brawlers is conned? What are you going to do? What if this POI below you, the little one is contested? What are you going to do? Like have options, how you want to execute things and how you want to do it. So you're not like over here sitting in the bush scouting, like know what you want to do, right? Do you want to farm that tree every time? If that's the case, let's do it. This rock every time, if that's the case, let's do it. Like have a, have a plan here, right? Is your plan to go down here and loot this lake? That's fine if it is. I don't, I'm not saying anything's wrong or, or right here because I don't know the spot. I don't want to speak, speak wrongly, but be quick, right? It's all about being efficient, right? This is like anti-efficient sitting in the bush, scouting the same area. Like now you're finally here. All right, you're coming to the POI, you're looting. You find a player. Easy chop out up on one wall right below you. Easy, right there, you see it. But you could chop him out, get him weak. You could bait the wall, shoot it a couple times, get it low, make him drop down and go up. You could pop a fizz right now. You could put walls around you, pop a fizz. Get that like jump boost and then chop it out and jump on his head. There's a lot of options here. Well, in general, before this, right? Like, don't get caught off guard by a player and under and trust your gut, right? This is a lot of times when like I've explained this before, but like understanding the snail, right? Understanding how to do it. If you want to play defensive here, you can. And just trusting your your moves, right? This is a this is this right here. Straight up, Titan. This is just a showing that you are not confident in your builds at all, right? So and it's, it's probably, a, it looks like it's a lot of, like, you probably, you aren't confident making a box. I don't know. I'm just, I don't want to speak entirely for you, but I'm just going to throw things out there, right? Like if you can't build a box fast, that's one thing you need to practice. Like write that down, practice building a box because there's an order to build it. There's a process in building it, right? Be consistent building it. I should boot up my game here so I can hop in creative and show you these things. But like, right, this is just like a confidence thing. Am I confident if a team pushes me, if a player pushes me? All right. What, what about if you get caught here? Like turn around quickly, right? Like be confident that like, Take, let the fight come to you if you have to, or take the fight to the player. This guy's obviously not good as well, right? He's missing shots. He hasn't hit you guys. He hasn't hit you once. Same thing here. If you're not confident going up on this guy, whether it's popping a fizz, chopping him out, or just simply doing a retake to build up, there's your answer. You're not confident in chopping somebody out because you don't know what could happen. The guy might jump on your head. You're not fast enough to react, blah, blah, blah. We can go on and on about how the effects of chopping out could be uh, detrimental. Or you're not confident in simply just going up for retake, ramping out. You could ramp out right here, catch yourself on a ramp, go up, you know, do a Thwaifo cone, side jump, and then you're on height, right? Even though you're up by one wall, it doesn't matter. Um, and if you're not doing either of those things, which it doesn't seem like you are, that's, that's, that's three things right there you need to practice. Practice chopping somebody out, get, how to hit the shots, how to do it the best way possible. Practice retakes, practice building a box so you're not like running panicking on the roof here. Um, now, best case scenario here, if we're looking for the best case, let's imagine that you are confident in doing all those things I just mentioned. Chop them out, 100%. All right, 
Very nice. Also, just saying, I think you need to lower your sense. Just from looking at this, you look very choppy. Either that or you're extremely nervous. Because, like, you are, you are, like, this aim right here on this, this last pump here is, like, everywhere. Like, that, that looks like an accidental shot almost. Um, also, when you're boxing somebody, this is, this is definitely a tip that I want to share. Is when you're grabbing the wall here, you get the wall, okay? Before you edit this wall, before you confirm it, right? You can tell your, your crosshair is, you can see my cursor. Your crosshair is right here, right? Like, right now, it's right there, right? Before you confirm it, right? Like, imagine you edit and you put your crosshair back on the player and then you confirm the edit. Then you're already close to being lined up or you're lined up and you hit the shot every time. You edit, pump. Edit, click, pump. Dead. Right? But here, you edit, then you have to flick back to the player and then you have to pump him, right? So it's a lot, it's a lot more. So when you try to, when you're trying to, when you get, when you get a wall on somebody and you're trying to make the quick edit, try to line up your crosshair before you confirm the edit. It seems like it may be a, a lot of steps, right? But it's, once you get in the groove of it, it's really simple. It's very simple. Um, or at least be in the general area, right? That was like the opposite of general area. It's a little far from him. So good kill, you get the kill here. Now you're going to loot up. You should be uncontested. Also, if you saw one guy gliding in here and you kill the guy, you know you're fully uncontested, right? So let's go. All right, get your metal up. Now it's about figuring out where all the metal is here because that's the mat you need, right? Or maybe it's on rotate, whatever it is. Looks like you farmed a bit here, right? I don't know all the metal here because I didn't land here. I've never landed here. But I'm sure there's somebody, somebody out there that's done it. Or again, if you want to learn the metal, if you want to learn how to loot this spot the best, if you land here and let's say you keep pushing it every game, this is the spot you end up kind of going into, go watch like sphinx and threats or like whoever lands here in pros right eu and it doesn't matter even on like other regions like the best pro teams in the cash up finals that land here are going to be five 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 best loot fastest loot fastest loot route literally like if i wasn't a pro and i wanted to copy somebody i would go watch a vod of some eu or na team and i would one for one copy their drop map which I've talked about before how to do that. That's simple. And I would one for one copy the loot route. I'd say, okay, in Cash Up Finals game one, he lands here and he goes like this. Boom, 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 out. Right? And the other guy lands back here and he goes like this, right? Like I would straight up replicate that. And that takes one game. You go in one replay and you get the entire the entire loot route from the player. The reason why I say Cash Up Finals is because they are actually trying to do their loot route the fastest, right? If you watch game one of opens, if I watched this game and I was trying to learn from you, I would just instantly be like, oh, I mean, he's... He's not trying to be fast because it doesn't matter. He's looking for kills. He's looking, you know, he's just doing random things. He's hanging out. He's vibing. All right, it's, it's game one. So go watch like a FNCS Grand Finals, a Cash Cup Finals, FNCS Weekly Finals. All those are going to be great for like literally mimicking the exact route, the way they farm their metal, how much metal they have on average. You could skip five minutes into the VOD and say, okay, they got 300 metal each, right? So maybe that means that how do they get it later on? And then you just watch them and then they go farm this, build, this building and they get it later on. Who knows what the solution is, but that might be as simple as it is. And same thing with everything, right? What's their average rotate? Okay, on a zone like this where it looks like it pulls north, go watch Threats and Sphinx or whoever, I think it's Sphinx and Dukes now. Go watch Sphinx and Dukes and try to find a game where they pull a zone like this. How do they rotate? Do they go, do they just white line? Do they go, do they go around to the side? Or how, do they go left? Like, how do they, how do they do it? Again, you don't have to do that. A lot of you guys, I feel like are, um, have a better understanding of competitive than Titan style. No disrespect to Titan style, of course, right? Like everyone has to start somewhere, but I'm saying that some of you guys are definitely semi pros, tier three, tier four, whatever, right? I don't, I don't, I don't like the, the term. I'm not going to put any of you guys in tiers. I'm just throwing those out there as reference. Um, so what I do at the pro level is I just, I just know my spot like the back of my hand, right? Like a lot of you guys probably know lavish like the back of your hand. So just like I talked about earlier with the, with the, with the, uh, the creating a what if plan for your off spawn and for the entire game, you can do the same for zones, right? So let's say we land lavish, right? We land lavish. I can just do this infinitely. Okay, zone goes here. What do I do? Okay, so I'd probably, let's see, you know, I'd probably go here and get on this hill, look for surge, and then I'd wait for the next zone to pull and I'd go north and go here. All right, boom, that's it. That's one answer. And then I would, I've done this before so many times. I did this before grand finals. Say, so, okay, I'm gonna screenshot that. Oop, take a screenshot, save it, put it in my Discord. Okay, that's what we do on this zone. All right, teammate, here, let's do it again. Okay, what about this zone? What about if it pulls max like this? Okay, so we would probably, you know, blah, blah, blah. You guys see, the, you guys get the point here. So when you get a better understanding of your spot and you get it mastered, you can start doing this infinitely. You guys can see I can just drag this wherever I want, however I want it to be. And again, Fortnite zones are pretty random. So like on your first pull, you can calculate exactly what you want to do from Lavish every time or from wherever. 
every time you can do later zones too okay now what if what if we go this zone okay so i'd go boom 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 get on that mountain whatever okay now the next zone pulls let's say it's i don't know it's like this okay that's easy i'd go boom hit this pad come here and i'm in right like whatever it looks like it's obviously i'm just drawing it quickly but zone theory and doing creating like a what if for each zone is is huge because titan style could do this right here and say okay what if the zone pulls north every time there's going to be zones that are very simple for you if you're landing at the bottom right of the map every zone is going to be the other direction like it can't go back towards you it can come to you but it's kind of rare right you would agree it's like if you land down here like it's pretty rare you pull zones so you can kind of plan for a north zone here it's pretty it's going to be pretty consistent i bet if we skip this entire vod we find multiple north zones so there you go what do you do on north zones find a way find an answer and try to do it and then tweak it as you go let's say your answer is you go to, to this hill and you pad the zone and you fly all the way here let's say that doesn't work because there's always a guy on the hill maybe you just come you know hit this pad here and go around i'm just imagining there's pads right right or use your nitro and whatever okay so you can zone theory constantly so you can be faster quicker decision making less thinking right more more just in the moment Maybe this is the strategy. Maybe this is what you want to do. I'm not going to say it's not because you can play these opens however you want and still qual. It's really not that hard. Cash up opens is super, super simple. All right. So right away, if this is me, okay, and I'm playing like this because I, I, I don't know if I've done this before, but I could definitely play like this if I had to. So I'm going to put, put myself on your shoes. I see this guy, right? You have clear advantage. You have the fry. You take the shot. This is all good. I don't know where your crosshair is, by the way. I don't even know if you have a crosshair. Maybe it's, oh, you probably use the custom crosshair. But, um, all right, you fry this guy, okay? Instantly, you analyze the player when he's frying, when, when he's here, right? So you can look at the skin to analyze. This guy's got a decent skin, right? I would look at it like that. It's a competitive skin. If the guy's wearing your skin, right, you would say, okay, this guy's, he's got some understanding of what to wear. If the guy's wearing a, like, huge-ass Dwayne The Rock Johnson skin, like, you're gonna be like, no, dude, like, this guy does not know what he's doing. He's got a back bling on. He's got a huge pickaxe, right? Like, that guy is a pub player. Go take him out of the game and send him back to pubs, right? This guy, decent competitive skin, right? Like, looking at this personally, I would say this guy could be, he could be decent. He might not be great because he's not using, like, a competitive loadout entirely. Like, imagine he's wearing, like, a focus skin and a star wand. Okay, that's a great sign of, like, this guy probably understands a bit more, right? So I would be cautious of frying him. Maybe I wouldn't want to take the fight if he's wearing a certain skin. Um, okay, then here, right, you fry him. Now watch how fast he builds. That's another sign of how bad this player is, right? I'm pretty sure you take him out. I would hope you kill this guy. This guy, right, you shoot him, he's spinning around, does, he's flopping his builds everywhere, right? Boom. That's two things right there before I take the fight of how I can analyze how good this player is or how bad this player is. Right away, I see the skin, and it's kind of semi-competitive, semi-good, whatever, you know, it, it kind of resembles, resembles a decent player. See his builds after I fry him? All right, this guy's horrible. It's confirmed, right? So now you now you can jump in, you can do whatever you want. With that confidence, right, that can, that can send you to, to an entirely different level. Like, look how slow he's building. He's slow to replace, right? All those things are, like, cues, right? He doesn't hold the wall when you jump in, knowing that you're going to jump in. He's slow to build this wall, right? No cone in the box is another example. It's kind of like you. No cone in your box, too. No piece. Another example of this guy that you're fighting being a really bad player. So this is another free elimination. Whether you have to take the fight slow, you know guaranteed 100% you're going to win this fight just because of the way he's looking, the way he's playing, the way he's responding, right? So... You kind of get hit weak because you didn't have any control and you took a bad angle and you end up running away. That was a free kill. That's a free kill. Like even, no disrespect to you again, Titan style. Even you, watching you play these games, getting other kills, you can kill that guy. Trust me. You run in his face and kill that guy every time. Trust me. That guy is free. And players will look at you the same way. I would say that you're doing a great job at least hiding your... Hiding the skill difference, right? You have a shovel pickaxe. You have the gray skin on. You look like you could be a pro player, possible, right? But as soon as someone fights you and they see you don't, they don't, you know, you don't have a cone down or you're slow to build, then boom, there's a the decision making of like this guy's bad. Let's jump in. All right, so now you're farming up. Whatever you're doing, your thing, you're rotating. This is all good. One thing is you don't have nitro splash. I think you just used it. Try to save nitro splash. Try to keep nitro splash. You don't need. You don't need an opens or in any part of the cash up. I would never run this loadout. You don't need three med kits and um and a Coca-Cola. Pick one. Pick pick a Coca-Cola. I would run, I would run Fizz, six nitro, and a Coca-Cola. Because I know that if I have to fight, I can get capped HP. And I know that I'm not I'm not 
bad enough or like, I don't need the heal off. There's no, there's going to be no heal off in this game, first of all. So that's not even the answer, but uh, I'm not going to be in the type of situation where I'm going to be like five white HP. I'm either going to die before I get to that point. Like I'll just, I'll just die, straight up die. I don't even care. Right. Or max, I'll take like 50 white and I'll just get back to 75. So here, whatever, right? Like your loadout is fine. It's still not, it's not horrible. You can win the game easy with this, with this exact loadout and the mats. So you go hit a riff. This is good. Again, same thing with like, not saying that, that anything is bad here, but I want to point out again, I'm not, I'm not critiquing you right now, but I'm saying like player movement, the way you're sitting, how fast you box, what if you're sitting behind a rock and someone sees you, all of those things are like little itty bitty details of like a pro looking at you or any really good player looking at you be like, this guy is not building a box fast enough. He's crouching behind a rock. His movement is kind of wonky. He's flat. He's, you know, he's flailing everywhere. He's running all over, right? Like he's inconsistent where he doesn't have a plan. You know, his crosshair placement, where he's looking. All those little details give you an advantage in a fight. So you can use that to your advantage, or you can also understand that that could be a disadvantage to you, Titan style, okay? So if someone sees you, like, doing this, running up a hill, getting stuck, right? Like, building slowly, crouching behind a rock. Like, someone sees you doing that, like, know that that's, like, an easy sign to key you. Like, that's, like, guaranteed that's, that's a free kill. Take the hill, this is great. You land here. Build out a brick. Looks like your server lag. Yep. Again, look how slow the box is built, right? That guy has zero, zero doubt he should just jump in your face. Zero doubt. Because he sees how slow you're building, right? And again, we kind of went back to the very first thing we talked about is like, that's one of the things you need to work on, Titan style. Work on building your boxes. Work on retakes, right? Work on chopping people out. Work on like just in general, general build smoothness. And also understand everything I've talked about, about how players read you and how you can read players. Because by you doing this, just know if you don't get better at boxing, you're going to get keyed. If you don't get better at these small things, you're going to get keyed every time. Every single time. Like, like if we watch this, these future games, I don't, I'm not going to, but like, let's just see how you die one more time. Right, imagine someone sees you doing this. Free kill. Free kill. You're getting chased in the back. You're slow. You're inaccurate to build a box. Imagine that guy sees you do that and he sees you run across his head after not healing. Free kill. All right, kind of still a little slow to build the box, right? It's not that not the worst speed. I'm not gonna say that's bad. All right, let's see. Boombo keys you. Right, so now he's looking at like he may not. That guy might be a pro, and this you in a situation could be a pro. I could be in the same spot as you and be a pro. But let's see how let's the people are gonna poke around at you, right? They're gonna shoot your walls, they're gonna tap you, they're gonna they're gonna spray you for a second, they're gonna see how good you really are. All right, so all right, let's see how good this guy's like let's see how good this guy really is, because it's not really damaging you much, right? He's just kind of poking at you, right? He might be playing aggressive, who knows? But like now that you're not holding the wall behind you, I'm running in there too. You know what I'm saying? Like the wall is clearly on 12 HP right there. We just saw a little quick frame. Let's see if I can pause again. It's on 12 HP and you're not blocking your back with a stair or holding the wall or repairing it or building towards the guy. You're like instantly, your rotate is like, oh, I got shot. Your reaction is instantly run. Right? You run away and the guy naturally is in your box and you die. So, um, yeah, we kind of talked about everything, but on to the next one. Appreciate it, Titan style. Thank you again, guys. No negativity. I don't want to see anybody flaming if you if, if i see anybody saying you suck titan style i'm banning you like you're done you're gone all right thank you titan style um first of all, that i appreciate it